A basin crosses enemy lines in the past wars, leaving Vale to join Aspen. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. Breaking news today from the ski industry. Arapahoe Basin is joining the Icon Pass. A basin COO, Alan Henseroth, posted the announcement to his blog today, writing, I am very excited for the next chapter in A Basin's history. The ski area joins Copper, Aspen, and 37 other destinations with Icon, less than one season after leaving the Epic Pass, ending a 10-year pass partnership with Vale Resorts. A Basin joins Icon as a partner with no unlimited skiing. The full Icon Pass buys seven unrestricted days, the Icon Base Pass gets five days with holiday blackouts. On Al's blog, comments went from happy to heated, like, I think this is a great direction, pointing out the crowds will be smaller with no unlimited skiing, and you just sold your soul to Aspen Ski Co., wondering why A Basin did not partner with places like Loveland and Monarch instead. Still others asked if this partnership means cash for capital improvements. No response yet from Basin officials. U.S. Senate candidate Andrew Romanoff is in Breckenridge today for a picnic hosted by Summit County Democrats, but the one-time Speaker of the Colorado House says his campaign is for all parties. Brought Democrats and Republicans together to get things done. I don't see that happening on Capitol Hill. Romanoff wants to unseat Republican Cory Gardner in the 2020 election, saying his grassroots campaign won't bow to special interests. If Coloradans want a candidate beholden to the insurance industry or the drug companies, they'll have to find somebody else. The Summit County Dems picnic is today starting 4 p.m. at Carter Park. Anyone is invited. A 60-year-old woman was found dead in her car outside Glenwood Springs this week. The Post Independent reports the unidentified woman had likely been sleeping in her vehicle while it was parked at an auto body shop. Employees there found her body late Wednesday. She was last seen alive Sunday. Cause of death is under investigation. The coroner does not suspect foul play. In just 24 hours is the Dillon Open, the year's biggest sailboat regatta on Lake Dillon, and Vice Commodore N.J. Oliva with Dillon Yacht Club explains why you should check it out. It's the evolution of the event, and it's the generations that are coming in uh, that weren't here 10 years ago that are going to be the face of the event in 10, 15 years. The Open brings more than 100 boats from across the region for racing tomorrow and Sunday, beginning 1 p.m. daily at the Dillon Marina. Watch from the shores or take a spectator boat. Get more info at DillonOpen.com. Local fire danger is moderate today with no fire restrictions. In sports, the Broncos beat the Falcons last night 14-10 at the NFL Hall of Fame game. Denver's first official preseason game is next Thursday in Seattle. Today, the Rockies open a weekend home series against the Giants at 640. Tomorrow's game is 610. Sunday's is 110. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, tomorrow is the next race of the Vail Trail Running Series. Four and a half miles up the side of Vail Mountain on Berry Picker Trail. Get signed up by 3 p.m. today through VailRec.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.